there are some successes uh, in creating uh, uninformed uh, 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 voters who make irrational choices. So one poll that came out a couple of days ago of Southern whites is illustrative, a poll about what they think about taxes. And it turns out they, uh, a substantial majority, think that there should be more tax, higher taxes for the very wealthy. Uh, but by the same majority, they think Romney's programs on taxes are better than those of the Democrats. Well, that's a success. Uh, there are careful studies of the sector of the population that calls themselves, that answers poll questions by saying that they're in favor of small government, you know, get the government off my back. Uh, you look at them, they're basically social democrats. Uh, they're in favor of increasing spending on education, uh, on health, uh, help for women with dependent children, but not welfare because welfare was effectively demonized by Reagan on racist grounds and then pretty well killed by Clinton. Uh, foreign aid is an interesting question that a lot of polling questions on that. It turns out that when people are asked what they think about foreign aid, uh, overwhelmingly they say it's way too high. We're giving everything away to the undeserving poor. And when they're asked what they think it ought to be, uh, they give a figure which is far higher than it is. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's, again, uh, success in creating uh, uninformed people making irrational choices. Uh, the uh, most interesting case right now is about the basic issues facing the country domestically. Uh, it's pretty obvious that the basic issue is jobs, but that's not what the financial institutions care about. Now, they care, care about the eventual, you know, sometime in the undetectable future, a possibility of inflation, which is bad for lenders. Uh, so they, they want you to worry about deficits. And if you look at the press and the, the elections and so on, there's just a drumbeat of propaganda about elections and very little that makes any sense, at least, about jobs. Now, it's not that the political leaders don't understand this. So, for example, Christiana Romer, chair of Obama's Council of Economic Advisors, uh, argued that this is the time, as she put it, to press the accelerator. We can worry about the brake later. And that's accepted by the business press. So Bloomberg Business Week uses the same metaphor. It says that's what we ought to do. Same with the London Financial Times, the major world newspaper. But the paymasters have different priorities, and uh, they would prefer to delude the public about uh, the horrendous problem of the deficit, ultimately the debt. Well, there are estimated 23 million people uh, unemployed or underemployed or given up, and that's a huge problem. It utterly dwarfs the deficit. It's a human problem because it's destroying lives and on an enormous scale. It's also an economic problem. It's depriving the country of their contributions. So there's, there's really something deeply wrong with a society where there's huge resources available, a huge number of people wanting to work, tremendous amount of work that has to be done, but it just can't put them together. Uh, that should be the central component of any campaign that was concerned to, with uh, informed voters making rational choices, but it's totally missing, not a word in the campaigns, or the media, elsewhere, which simply means they're doing their job.